to our next straight along. This time we are going to put down our knitting needles and we are going to pick up a crochet hook and we are going to do a crochet along. Um, if you don't know how to crochet, push pause, go to auroratalksknit.com and look for the learn to crochet class. This particular pattern that we're doing here today looks uber complicated, but really all you have to know is how to chain how to do a single crochet and how to do a double crochet and that's it. There's like a minor variation on one of those, but that's what these videos are for is to show you how to do those variations. So all in all, it's pretty easy to do. Um, let's see, I wanted to do this pattern because it is a collaboration between Dorian Owen, who is a friend of mine and also a pattern designer. Um, she does not knit, she only crochets. Uh, and Michelle from Independent Street Yarn. So the yarn base is called Foot Bliss, and this is the color Swiftly Tilting Planet. And the pattern that we're doing is called Butterfly Effect. So um, I don't know if you are as um, old as I am, but this is basically a nod to our childhood um, growing up reading the books by Madeline L'Engle. Um, so uh, I'm also, I downloaded the audiobook and I've been listening to A Wrinkle in Time as I have been <laughs> working on this crochet along. So it's been super fun. Um, okay, so grab a copy of your pattern. Getting started can be a little bit confusing, so we're going to demonstrate that right now. Okay, so the first part of the pattern, this is basically our cast on. Okay, so row one, we're going to chain four. This counts as foundation chain and double crochet. Okay, and we'll talk about exactly what that means here shortly. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the first chain. That gives you three double crochets. Now, something to remember about crochet is that a lot of times it, it it's hard to predict how something is going to come out. So it's best, it's kind of like turning heel in the sock and knitting. You just have to like hang on for dear life and follow the instructions. That's how this one is too. All right, so I am going to make my slip knot. I'm just gonna make a loop here, and then I'm gonna put the long end through the loop, and then I'm gonna pull on the end. Okay, so there's my slip knot. I'm gonna slip that over the end of my crochet hook, and I'm gonna pull on the long end just to kind of get that tight around it. Okay, so the instructions say that we are going to chain four. So I'm gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, and four, just like that, okay? So now we're gonna make sure it's on the front side, okay, the side that looks like a braid. If I turn it over, that kind of looks like a little chain, okay? So that's the wrong side. We're gonna turn it over to the right side. And then it says two double crochets in the first chain. So this guy way back here is my first chain. So I'm going to perform two double crochets in that first chain, okay? So I'm gonna get my yarn ready. I'm going to do my yarn over. I'm going to insert into that first chain. I'm going to yarn over, bring up a loop. Okay. Now I'm going to yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. All right, there's one done. So now I have to yarn over and go through here. Grab up a loop. Now you'll notice that as I let go of this, this little teeny piece of knotted mess just wants to flip all over. So I'm being very careful to hold it in place so that it doesn't flip underneath my crochet hook or on top of it. So I'm going to yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Okay, done. Now it says that we should have three double crochets. So what's happening here is this is an actual double crochet right here. This is an actual double crochet right here. And this one on the end, this was our chain. This is where we chained. So that's what she means when she says, that this counts as your foundation chain and a double crochet, okay? So you can see here that we have 
one, two, three double crochets. Okay, so now the next instruction says we're going to chain three. Again, this counts as a double crochet here and throughout. So you can tell when you first turn the work over and you go the other direction, the first chain that you make is going to count as a double crochet from here on out. Easy enough. Okay. So then we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet and each double crochet across. And it tells you at the end, you got to do three double crochets in the last and then you should have a total of five. So this pattern is great because crochet can be confusing. Like where am I supposed to be going right now? And then you can count how many double crochets you have so that you make sure that you have the right amount. All right, so the first thing I need to do is chain three. This is my first double crochet. So I'm gonna chain one, chain two, chain three. And now I'm gonna turn it over, okay? It's just easier for me if I chain before turning it over. Okay, so again, I'm gonna spread this out a little so that you can see my three double crochets there. One, and there's one in the middle, and then there's this one on the end. Okay, so now I am going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet and each across, okay? So, now I want to talk to you a little bit about first double crochet and next double crochet, okay? So you can kind of see these little dimples. There's a little dimple right here and there's a little dimple right here, okay? And then this last one doesn't have a dimple because it's actually a chain, so you just have to kind of fake it when you do that one. This is the first double crochet. These instructions say next. So we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go in this one and we're gonna double crochet once in there. Okay, then it says to do three double crochets in the last double crochet. Now, this is just a chain, so I'm just gonna go into this big loop right in here. You can try to get under one piece if you want to, but in the grand scheme of things, nobody's gonna notice, so I'm just gonna go basically between the last two double crochets. And I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna do two. Oops, I need a little more yarn. And then I'm gonna do three. So it says at the end, I'm just gonna pull this loop so I can slip this out of here. It says that when I'm done, I should have five double crochets. Okay, so remember this one counts as the first double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can see I can separate those by putting my crochet hook so you can see all five of them right there, okay? So that means that I have done the right thing. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, loop back in here and I'm gonna turn it over and let's look at the next line. Okay, so this says chain three, okay, which we know is our first double crochet. Then we're gonna do two double crochets in the first double crochet. So let's just do that first. So we're going to chain one, two, three, okay? All right, now, again, you can see these little dimples at the top here. Those are where we're gonna go into, okay? This one is the first one. See how it's hanging off my chain? That's the first one, this is the next one, okay? So this is very important when you're reading these instructions, first and next, first and next, okay? All right, so, as I drop it, we're going to do, let's see, how many did it say? Duh, let's see, two double crochets in the first, okay? So I'm going to go into here, and I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna go into here, and I'm gonna do another, oops, I need more yarn already. See how fast I'm going? I'm just blowing right through yarn, oh my gosh. All right, so now I've got my three double crochets all right there in the corner because it said to do two, We the first one, uh, the chain, let me pull these apart for you so you can kind of see. So the chain stitch is its own double crochet and then there's one in the middle and then there's the one I've just performed. 
So now I'm going to double crochet in each double crochet to the end. Okay, so here, here's my next one. I'm gonna go in here. And again, you'll see that when I'm performing my double crochet, I'm going through both legs of the loop. See that? I've got two legs of that loop right there. You don't want to go under one, you want to go under both. Okay. And then here's the next one. Okay, and then I've got one more in the end chain. And again, you can try to go through some of these loops, but I just like to cheat and go through this big giant hole right here because no one's ever gonna notice. Okay, so I do my last one here. Double crochet, let's see, to the end. All right, so now it says I should have seven double crochets. So let's see here. Okay, so I've got my chain here. And then I've got these two that are right together. One, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. I did it right. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to set this down. Now you can see here that this is where we started. Okay. Now at the beginning, uh, oh, sorry, at the end of this row here, we did three double crochets in the last double crochet here. Then when we turned around, we did another three here. So the whole point of this is the shaping, okay? So this end is going to increase just a little bit, but because we're going so heavy on the double crochets over here, this is going to end up coming way out like that, and that's what's going to give us our really pretty shawl shape. So if you feel like you are um, it's lopsided it's meant to be that way as you go you'll see the shape start to take place and you'll uh, recognize that the, the the angle that you're going at okay so the next one is to repeat rows two and three twice more so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will meet you right back here for row eight Okay, I'm through row seven. Let's check out what we've got here. <clears throat> this is so cool. Okay, so you can see that this is shaping up really dramatically like this. Okay, so this angle is really super awesome. And now that you're established, it's a little bit easier to see the rows. Down here when it's just kind of a mess when you're first getting started, it's a little bit difficult. So here it's a little bit easier to see your stitches. So here's my chain that counts as one. Let's see, at the end of row seven, I should have 15. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The end of row seven, I should have fifteen stitches, and I do. Okay, so now we're going to get to row eight, and of course there's all of this down here, so I'm using a piece of paper to kind of minimize the mess here. All right, so we're going to chain three. We know how to do that. Double crochet in the first double crochet. We know how to do that. We're going to double crochet in the next three, then we're gonna DC two together. That's double crochet two together. That's a decrease. It's like a knit two together. We're gonna to do that twice. Then we're gonna do more double crochets, two double crochets inside of one, blah, blah, blah. We know how to do the rest of that. Okay, so let's get started here. All right, so I'm just gonna put this guy back in my loop and give it a pull. The first thing I need to do is chain three. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna do a double crochet in the first double crochet, okay? So remember, now let me just explain that a little bit more. This is the first double crochet right here, okay? This is the next one. The reason why normally we don't go into this first one is this chain right here is supposed to be a double crochet. So we're like faking that it's in here. So we skip that one and go to that one. Okay. But because we want this to grow just slightly on this edge, we're going to go ahead and put one into the first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet in the first double crochet. So we're gonna go there and there, okay? Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next three double crochets. So I'm gonna go to the next one, double crochet for one, yarn over, go on the next one, 
double crochet for two, yarn over, go on the next one, double crochet for three. Okay, so now it says we're going to double crochet two together. So basically we're going to start a double crochet in this next one here, and then we're going to join it with this guy over here. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into this guy, yarn over and drop a loop, so I've got my three. Normally we do yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, but we're just going to do the first part of that, yarn over, go through two, and then wait. Now I'm going to pretend like I'm done. I'm going to yarn over and go into the next one, yarn over, draw up a loop. I'm also going to yarn over and draw through two, but now I've got three left, so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to draw through all three. Okay, so you can see I have one big loop up here at the top, but it has two little legs on it. Okay, so if you look at the guy next door to him, he only has one leg and one loop at the top. This guy has two legs and one loop at the top, okay? All right, so now we have to do that a second time. I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two and wait. Yarn over, go in the next guy, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, Finally, yarn over and go through all three. Okay, that's been performed. So now it says to double crochet in the next three. All right, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna yarn over and go through here. Double crochet for one, yarn over. Go in the next one. Double crochet for two, yarn over, go in the next one. Double crochet for three. Okay, now it says two double crochets in the next double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to perform a double crochet, then I'm going to go back into that same one and do a second double crochet. All right, so now I'm going to double crochet in the next two double crochets, so one in each one. So I'm going to double crochet in this guy. And then I'm going to double crochet in the next guy. Okay. And then I'm going to do three double crochets in the last double crochet, which of course is just our chain. So I'm just going to cheat and go in that big hole. We're going to do three in here. Yeah, three. Okay, so one. Go in the same hole for two. Go in the same hole for three. Okay, so let's check out what we've done. Okay, whoa, tail everywhere. Okay, let's spread this out. So you can see some shaping is starting to happen. See how, just spread this out so you can see. See how we have a little curve going on here like this. See that curve? That's because here we decreased by two, so it pinches everything whoa, in like that. Then over here, we added two. See how this guy right here, he's a little branched off here, and so it actually bleh, makes it go like this. So that is how we're getting this super awesome shaping. Now we're supposed to have 17 stitches, so let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and then these two now count as one, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then there's three in the end, 15, 16, 17. So it's kind of funny because you have to count these guys as one stitch. So you can also turn it on its side and count the little loops like this. That's another way, but I like to just, I know this guy is one because he has one head and he's got two little legs. Okay, so I think that's it at the moment. Um, we've done the double crochet two together. Let's just quickly look at the pattern here. So now that you know how to perform these, let's see, we've got, so let's see, we just did row eight. Row nine is chain three. We know how to do that. Double crochet in the first double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet in the next three. Then we're going to do two. We know how to do this. We know about DC to T2OG twice, all of that kind of stuff. So I am going to, uh, this is just going to cause some shaping right here. 
So I am going to speed ahead because we get into some super fun and complicated stuff like here, like placing a marker and um, doing, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Chain eight, skip eight, DC two, T two, T two, get, I mean, we've got all kinds of stuff will be worked into chain. So I'm going to go ahead and speed ahead a little bit so that I can show you exactly what those parts mean. Uh, and those look really fancy because that's what makes our beautiful butterfly. So I will meet you right back here for um, the shaping of the actual butterfly motif. See you there.